are Christopher's, but Lulu's bake shack? Oh, oh my gosh. Uh, oh my. What kind of place did you take me to anyway? Where's the wine? Where's Dom Perignon and Great Goose? I can't believe JR's making me do this. Calm down. I thought we were going to be in a nice fancy restaurant. I thought we were going to be in JB's at the beach or something like that. Not so hot. My hair is frizzing. I am not having a good time. Show me what? Show me what's a good time. I'm with these losers. I mean, look at this. Trash, trash. It's dirty here. What is this? What do you suggest is a good time? I am not having a good time right now. What did you just say? I hope you don't use that pickup line to, use to get girls all the time because that's the lamest pickup line I have ever heard in my whole entire life. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Let's just order and hurry up and get the steak finished. There's a look at Eddie Torres. Not exactly a fan favorite here in D1PW. Not that I can uh, blame him for disliking the fans around here. Oh, the people hate Eddie Torres, Frank. Uh, no secret there. And we have Scott Davis making his D1PW debut. A very accomplished wrestler. He's traveled all over the state. A lot of big wins uh, throughout his career. And... Uh, Another uh, big star here coming to D1PW. Eddie Torres getting on senior referee Chuck Aron early to check Scott Davis for some reason. Hi, right, Eddie Torres making sure all bases are covered. He wants to make sure everything gets done right. Eddie Torres has been on a run lately here at D1PW, Frank. He says very impressive uh, competitor, although for some reason these people just don't seem to like him. I don't understand. He's a great talent. It's not, a, not even a matter of not liking him. It's a matter that they hate him. Everywhere that we go, they just won't lay off this guy. These people are rude, you know? That's what, it, that's what it boils down to. They're just rude. Oh, man. Unbelievable you. Eddie Torres back up to ringside. Giving the people a hard time. They just won't leave him alone. What, what, what is it about these people that they won't leave this man alone? Anywhere that we go, it just doesn't matter. Back out to ringside. That's going to make it worse on himself. Don't go out there with him. If you don't like him, if you don't like him stay away from him. Oh, yeah, that's it. Hide behind security. That'll work. Well, he's trying to find some way to get away from these people. There's just no safe spot out here for him. Everywhere he goes, there's people yelling at him. No, oh, there you go. Oh, Scott no. Davis starts the match efficiently right there, Frank. What kind of sportsmanship was that? He's tired of running around. He wants to get the match underway. And we have our first tie-up of the contest. And Eddie Torres has the early advantage. Well, he wanted to get underway so bad. Here we go, Eddie Torres with the advantage. Roll through of the arm ringer and returns one of his own. Cranking up on the arm, Frank, is Scott Davis. Scott Davis, like I said, a very accomplished wrestler. He knows all the moves inside the ring. But Eddie Torres, he pulled his own there as well. Elbow across the center of the arm. Trying to break down the left limb of Eddie Torres. Rick in the eye. There you go. Who didn't see that coming from Eddie Torres? Well, if these people are going to persecute him and yell at him and scream at him, he's going to have to do whatever he has to do to win inside that ring. Right. He's, got, he's got the whole world against him here. The whole world against him. Yeah, Chuck Aron, the fans, Scott Davis. Absolutely. Now you understand. Into the corner. Reversal by Scott Davis. Sends Eddie Torres into the buckle. Back draw. High and tight in the center of the ring. Careful there, Andy Torres. Don't run into a right hand, do you? And you see the veteran with the experience there to put on the brakes, back into a corner, take a timeout, and avoid getting clocked right in the top of the head there. They are in his head deep today. Normally he keeps his composure much better than this. They are really, really all over him. 
Yes, they are, and you can see the effect that it's having. It's just distracting him. It's, it's getting to him. His people are getting to him. Well, he collects himself enough to deliver a knee lift into the solar plexus of Scott Davis, and now a choke. Well, if you can't win cleanly, cleanly win dirty. That's what I will say. I just figured you were going to say that. Right? Hey, I win is a win. I know your style. A win is a win. Paycheck for paycheck, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Sell your soul to the devil much? Anyway, we have a right hand into the kidney area of Scott Davis, who battles back out of the corner with a couple of kicks and a thrust kick, a double thrust kick to the top of the chest. Scott Davis on fire right now. San Eddie Torres, pillar to post, high cross body in the center of the ring. Chuck Oren right in position two, and no, Eddie Torres got out. And again, back towards the corner, but then he takes him right over with an arm drag. Beautiful arm drag textbook by Scott Davis, who has control right now over a baffled Eddie Torres. He's just standing on his hand there. He sure is. Splash across the arm of Eddie Torres. Inflicting damage, working on that one part of the body. That's classic chain wrestling. Thing. Oh, yeah, absolutely. This guy, a classically trained wrestler, and you can see he's just going right after that arm, trying to tear it right out of the socket that time across the top row. Absolutely. Absolutely. Every single move that Scott Davis is applying right now has a purpose. Another rake of the eyes. <laughs> that had a purpose. Now Chuck Orton, he's got to go after Eddie Torres too. Well, of course he is. You're not going to rake somebody's eyes and pull their hair and you know cheat and not and not have to be admonished for it, Frank. Short arm clothesline, a cover, two, and no finding out where he is in the match with a quick cover. And listen, to the people call it Channing cheater, Eddie Torres. Well, there's no call for that. Well, we haven't seen it five times already. Eddie Torres now with a legal move, a reverse chin lock. That's Scott Davis begins to roll out of, cocks up an elbow. And there's one to the gut, and another. That gets him free. Sets up Eddie Torres in the ropes, reversal. Power slam oh. by Eddie Torres. And he's happy with himself, Frank, look at that. Oh yes, very proud of himself that time, and he should be. Taking too much time here. Come on, Eddie, follow up if you're going to. These people, people just won't shut up. It's amazing. It's amazing. They've, they've, they've had him since the opening bell, Frank. Off the top row. Misses a split leg drop. And definitely that time, the distraction of these people that got to him, they caused the delay. That gives Scott Davis the time to recover. These people, they're in the head of Eddie Torres, and they're affecting him. Absolutely. That's without a shadow of a doubt, and he just missed a huge move. I mean, if people are affecting you, uh, you know, the best time to be distracted is not when you're going for a high-risk maneuver off the top rope. That's for sure. Series of right hands by Scott Davis. Leaping back elbow. Finds its mark. Eddie Torres is in bad shape right now, but he pulls Scott Davis into the turnbuckle face first. There he goes. He's got him now. Rolls him up. Looks to cheat off the ropes. And no. He thinks he won. He does think he won. Unfortunately, that's going to be worse for him because he didn't. He wasn't in bad enough shape already, Frank. This is going to mess him up even worse. Scott Davis is now up behind Eddie Torres. I don't think he sees him. Just found out that he didn't win the matchup from Chuck Oren. Turns around and gets drop kicked. Square in the mush. One, two, three. Oh, no. He got him. I've got to call this a little bit of an upset, Frank. Well, yeah, it's Scott Davis, an impressive debut here in D1PW. Winning his first match here against Eddie Torres. And this isn't going to help the psyche of Eddie Torres any at all. Not at all. Not at all. And I, I think that uh, he and Chuck Arnold are going to have some words here. Oh, I think we are going to. Yeah, there, there they go. The Eddie Torres already feels like the world's against him, and this certainly isn't going to help any. Not at all. This is. I don't think this is the first time that we've seen this, Frank, with Eddie Torres in an official here at D1PW. Well, he, he thinks that everyone's after him, and you know what? He may, be, he may just may be right here. He sounds like you a little. You think everybody's against you, too. Yeah, everyone's just jealous of us. Oh, oh, I see. Big difference. Absolutely. Well, we're going to summarize this one. Your winner is Scott Davis in his D1PW debut.